Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheffer here and welcome to Google Slides Lesson 8 on how to crop and mask images. This is a really simple way to add additional visual interest in your presentation. So to start, I'm at the National Geographic Kids website and I have found this absolutely adorable picture of two lions and I wanna put this in my presentation. So as a quick review, um, there are lots of websites where if we tap and hold on this picture, we can save the image and it's saving it directly to our camera roll. So now I'm gonna double click on my home screen, I'm gonna go back into my presentation, and I wanna insert that image on slide four. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign, I'm gonna to go to image, from photos, and I'm going to select that image that I just saved to my camera roll. Now, there are, um, are additional tools that you can use with images, and the first I'd like to show you is the crop tool. So you'll notice at the top, there is a pencil icon. This would allow me to apply a border color to my image. So I could do that, and then the, the button next to that allows me to increase the weight of that border, and you'll notice that's how that would appear. Now the other options and the other tools available to us in images are to crop. So the button next to that border button is the crop tool. When I tap on the crop tool, you'll notice I have these black handles surrounding that image. So if I wanted to crop out some of the right-hand side of that image to make it really a square image versus a rectangle, I can do that. And as you can see, I've kind of changed the shape of that image. But I can go a step further. If I tap on that crop tool once more, you'll see the button next to the crop tool is our masking option. So what masking does, if you're unfamiliar with it, is it actually changes the shape of the tool, or excuse me, of the image. So currently it is a square, but maybe we wanna make it a square with rounded corners. Now you can see here, it's almost like the shape of an app icon. But one of the other tools, uh, other masking options that you may find yourself using is the circle. So now it becomes a complete circle. So that's really all there is to it. It's quite simple. You can crop an image if necessary. It's not always necessary that you'll need to do that, but sometimes you might. There might be a portion of an image that you wanna take out, especially if you're in the classroom and maybe you're recording a science experiment and you have something in the background that you didn't want in that picture. You can simply crop it out and then you can take it a step further by actually applying a masking technique to it. So you could even put it in an arrow. So if that were to make sense for the purpose of your project, um, the purpose of your presentation, you can certainly do that. You can also even use call outs, you can use um, the speech bubbles. So you can get very creative with how you're presenting your information in your presentation and really make it distinct and unique and um, I think your teachers will be extremely impressed with your ability to do this. Um, and if, if you're doing it in a meaningful, purposeful way, again, not just doing it because you can do it, um, think critically about, do I need to use this masking option? Does it A, make my presentation look better? And is it does it serve a purpose? So again, that is a quick and easy way to crop images and to use the masking tool. I hope this is new for you and that you will give it a try as you are building your next Google Slide presentation.